Hey there, this is Bakari Shivanu with Mac Automation Tips. Hey, I'm back with another video, and this one is about an application called Play, which allows you to watch and manage videos on your Mac and iOS devices, and it's a much better experience than managing them in your YouTube account. So stick around and check it out. So yes, it's been a while since I had a video, but I'm back and I'm anxious to talk about this video. It's not th this application, I'm sorry. Um, this application is not a new one, but it's one called Play. And one of my subscribers hit me to it several months ago, but I didn't really get a chance to just check it out and get into it. And so the last couple of days, I've been kind of exploring it and setting it up. And I found that it is really helping me to avoid wasting time inside of uh, YouTube. So let me show you the user interface um, of the Mac user interface of um, Play. So basically Play is sort of like, you know, your uh, email inbox or sort of like uh, the application called Raindrops where you can save articles um, to it as well, right? And so basically you can have just different sections like your new, the new things that you've added, the new videos that you've added, all the videos that you have watched, you know, completed, and then all the videos that you have in your entire library, and then ones that you have in progress, maybe ones that you have started watching but you haven't finished, right? And you can also tag videos as well, so you can break them down by tagging. So you see all my videos from my channel here are in are tagged here, you know, Mac Automation Tips. And so I have those here. And then you can also do what's called adding channels. So channels are the ways that you can get the videos inside of your play application. And so what you do is you go down here and you say add a channel or a playlist. So adding a channel is sort of like adding subscribing to a channel in YouTube. So basically what you want to do is you want to search for a channel uh, that you watch like Mac Automation Tips, right? And you can take this and you can search it and then you'll see that it comes up right up in here, right? And so then you can just add that to either a folder or you can just add it by itself, right? With, um, outside of a folder. So you can do that. So you might, maybe I might add it to my Apple related folder, but I'm not. <laughs> but anyways, you can do that or you can create new folders and do that. Uh, let's go here and then another, oops, I didn't mean to close it. Um, another thing you can do is you can, add, um, you can add videos via a playlist. So you can either subscribe to an existing playlist. You can put the URL for an existing playlist, like say that you have a playlist of, of my videos. You can use that URL and add it right here. I have a playlist called My Playlist, right? And so what I do is I put that URL in here, and that playlist is it's a private list, but it's, it's, it's unlisted. So I can get the URL for an unlisted video, get the URL, put it in here, and then give it a name, right? And then anything that I add to that playlist in my YouTube account will get synced to my Play uh, uh, you know, app, right? And then you can also, of course, add videos manually as well by putting in the thumbnail or the name of the channel. You can do that as well. So there's, there's, there's three different ways. There's several other ways that you can also add videos, but these are the, some of the main ways to do it. And so, and, and basically what you want to do is when you add these, your, your, your videos or your channels, right? You want to be very intentional about, hey, I'm adding this because I intend to really watch them. You don't want to have your inbox cluttered with a whole bunch of videos that you never get around to doing. So I haven't, I wouldn't, I do I do not plan to add all the, the, the channels that I subscribe to in YouTube. I'm only going to add the ones that I like the content of that channel enough that I pretty much don't want to miss any videos that that uh, channel is, um, you know, uh, posting, right? Now, once they get into your inbox, you decide what you want to do. You can save it for later. Um, you can watch it inside of YouTube if you want to, or you can watch it in a new window on your Mac. Right, or you can delete the video. You can delete all of the above videos, or you can delete the video. So, so you decide. Basically, you're deciding deleting or saving for later. And there are shortcuts, uh, keyboard shortcuts um, for doing that. Right, because once it's saved, then it's going to appear up in that uh, new list. Right, right here. For now, it's just in your inbox, like again, like a uh, like an email client. Right, it's just in your inbox until you decide what you want to do with it. So you'll see over here. I have. 
several channels that I have um, added uh, to my um, to my app here to play. You know, nine to five Mac, I reviews, Raycast, that kind of thing. I'm just getting started. I'm going to add several more, and then I have this playlist here. These are just three um, uh, of the latest. Um, you know. Uh, videos that I added to the playlist inside of my YouTube account, right? And so they show up here. So that's the way that you, that's one way you can get them in here. Um, you can also um, add it um, this way as well. You can add the URL here. And also the play account also allows you to add notes to um, any videos that you add to your, um, you know, to your library, right? So you can do that. And you can, again, you can tag as well. So you can tag your videos in here as well um, to kind of better manage and sort them in that way, right? So, and then on the, on the, in, on your iOS devices, say you go, you know, for your iPad or iPhone, you can also, you can use the share um, feature, right? To share to play itself. So what, if you, once you set up, uh, play inside those devices, right? You just hit the share button and then say, um, yeah, I think it says copy to play or something like that. So you do use the share button. And if you're, you know, you're pretty much familiar with that. If you're not, let me know in the comment section and maybe I'll do a video about it, right? But anyway, um, let me show you another uh, feature though that was really great about, really, it's really great about, um, about the uh, play is this thing called auto tagging, right? And you go up into the menu bar and you go to organize auto tagging and it opens up this window here. And so basically to do what to do is that you're going to create a new thing here. And what you want to do is I already have some tags set up. So say for example, um, I want to do, um, Matt here, right? So here's Mac automation tips, and then I want to add a condition. So basically the condition might be that in any title that has the word iPhone, right? Um, I want to have that and I want it to be tagged with Matt. So if, if a video has the word iPhone, it would be tagged as Matt, right? You know, and I'm just giving you just an example here. I'll say any video, that um, has the tag, I want any, I want a video tag Mac, right? That has, um, you see the conditions, has the words, contains the words Mac in it, right? Any, any channel or any, or any title, any description or any duration, you have to choose where it's gonna be. Basically, you will say any uh, title that has the word Mac in it, right? I want it, I want it tag Mac. Um, there. So that's how you do that. And you can do also the doesn't contain uh, rule as well. But a lot of times you're just going to do, you know, the contain rule. So you do that. And then what it's going to do is it's going to save uh, those items um, like here. So I have uh, one is called here. Let's look at this one. Uh, edit that one here. And so any, I want any video that, um, that is, says, titled Black Friday, right? I want it to, um, you know, be tagged and it's going to be in this folder called Divi. So there's a Divi and there, there's a Divi tag and inside that was a Divi folder, but inside that Divi folder, there's a tag called Black Friday as well as other tags as what, well, right? And so basically you're going to do that. So it, it'll watch for uh, videos as they come in and if they meet the rules, then they will be tagged accordingly, all right? We can do one more here. Let's look at um, look at this one here. Same thing, okay. Um, and so any any video that comes in and uh, let's say the, the, if and this really should be let me switch this up. I'm going to say any title that uh, contains the word Divi in it, right? And then let's delete this one. Any title that detains the word uh, Divi is going to is going to appear in this Divi tutorials, right? And so therefore, it's already auto tagging the content as it comes in. And so it's really a neat way to um, to do this. And that's one of the things when I found out that 
auto tagging existed because you know I'm a Mac automator, right? So the, when I found that it existed, that's going to save me time. That means I don't have to sit and kind of, you know, individually tag all the videos that come into, um, you know, the, the application. Now, sometimes you can also tag when you uh, save, like say if you're in your YouTube channel and you want to use the share button and you save um, a video to that, to, to the, the play app or to your, any particular, you know, to the play app, then you can choose to um, assign a tag right there at the time. But I, I prefer setting up as many kind of auto tagging kind of uh, setups or rules that so it can automatically tag that stuff and, and organize it for me. And so the, some of the similar things can be done with the advanced uh, search feature as well. And, um, and I forget how, let me see if I can find that. Uh, yeah, you can do the smart search here. Let's pull that down. So you can do the same thing here. Um, and you can you can search based upon certain criteria and conditions here. I'm not going to go through this, but it's pretty pr pretty much similar. If, if you've used uh, smart searches inside of your Mac or your um, you know yeah your Mac computer, then you can you're pretty familiar, pretty from familiar with this. But if you again if you want some more information about how to do this, leave a uh, comment in the channel and let me know and I will go more into detail. So anyway, that is pretty much how um, Play looks. I'm going to show you also um, a little bit, give you a little bit of idea how the Play app looks in iPad as well. Um, you know, you have kind of, I think it's a, a much better kind of layout here. I like the, I like the layout here, but again, you have your new videos, you have your watch and you have your tags, your smart searches and your video show here and you can play them. Um, inside the app itself, or you can play them uh, inside of, um, you know, uh, YouTube as well. So you can do that. And so that's, that's kind of how it looks there. And so, and one of the beautiful things about uh, Play is that you can do the, I think it's a monthly payment. I think it's the annual payment of, of, I think, $19 a year. But you also can do a lifetime. So if you find out that you really, really like this app, like I'm going to do, it's a light, you can get a lifetime subscription for, I think, $99. And so I, I, plan, to, I plan to do that. I think it's $99 or maybe, maybe $200. But I know that it's one of those two. I'm sorry I don't have it on my, uh, in my notes here. But anyway, you can do a lifetime. And, and I, anytime that you have an app that's a lifetime, I really appreciate that because that means you're not you know, just constantly keep paying, playing paying for it forever, but at some point you, you know, you own it. Right. And so I'd rather pay the $99 and then, you know, it pays itself in say five years rather than paying, you know, $20 for 10, 15 years. Cause you know, this, these kind of apps, you can keep them for a long time. And I, I've have, I had, you know, apps that I've subscribed to that I've, you know, and, and I'm still paying the annual fee and it's costing me. And so I, I tend to sometimes let those apps go after a while because it's just costing too much. But anyway, that's play. And I hope that you enjoyed this video and hope you got something out of it. If you do check out the, the app, let me know. If you have any questions, let me know. Tell me what you think about it and tell me some things that you like to see inside of play that may not exist. Thanks a lot, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.